I guess in this video I am going to discuss about try to program for sum of digits of a number. Suppose if I enter the number 456, then the output come at here 15. 4 plus 5, 9, 9 plus 6, the value come 15. So let's write the curve. So at here first I am going to take the integer variable. First is n. Here after sum, initializing with 0 and here one more variable k. And here after console, cross dot right line or try it at your right method. So add here, enter the number. And here after, cross by semicolon. Now here after, let's use n equal to int dot parse. Console dot read line. Now close by semicolon and here after let's use while loop. So about the while loop I discussed already in my previous video. So add here while n not equal to 0. And here after k equal to n mod 10. And here n equal to n divided by 10. And here sum equal to sum plus k. So this is the cuts to do some digits of a number. Now let's execute and check the output. So add here going to enter the number 456. So 456 that I enter Okay, one more thing, I forget add here. So, add here to print the value of sum. So, add here write console cross dot write line method and here sum of digits equal to and here going to use pun, uh, plus operator to concatenate a string to integer. Now let's execute one more time. So add here, I'm going to enter 456. So add here, sum of digits, it's a display 15. Now here, after execute one more time. So going to enter 6 plus 7, and here. So 6 plus 7, 13, 13 plus 5, 18. So our digits are 18, it's a display. So getting the expected output. Now here after I am going to explain the steps of execution of this program. Debug the code control comes to main method and here after that go inside. So at here I have taken three integer tag variable. First is n, next is sum and here sum value initialized to 0 and one more variable k. So at your console dot write line. So this will display into the output screen. Here after n equal to n dot parse console dot write line. So what if, whatever I enter, so that is accept in a string format by using at here n dot pass now convert into integer and that is turn into n. So at here going to enter n value 1 4 6. Now here after 1 4 6 not equal to 0, this condition is true. So this condition is true here. Here after that go inside. So at here k equal to n what 10. So at here 10 going to divide 1 4 6 so add here it divide by 10 times and here the welcome this point 140 so this is the 140 here and minus 6 minus 0 the welcome 6 and 4 minus 4 the welcome 0 0 so add here uh, about the mod operator so mod operator that return remainder and here division operator that return percent. So add here uh, 146 divided by uh, mod 10 the value come five, uh, 6. So that that 6 value go to k. So k value is now 6. Here after n equal to n mod n by 10. So 146 by 10 so you divide by add here. Uh, so there I one did mistake, it divided by 14 times. Okay. So cursent is at here. So 
So 10 into 40, the value becomes 140. So it divides by 14 times. So now n equal to uh, 146 divided by 10, it divides by 14 times. So add your new value of n is 14. And here after sum equal to sum plus k. So sum value is now 0. And here k value add here. K value is 6. 0 plus 6. Then sum value is now 6 here. Now here after that look continue. And here that check n not equal to 0. So new value of n is 14. 14 not equal to 0. This condition is true. That again go inside. So this time uh, n mod 10. So add here. 10 going to divide 14 so it divide by 1 times and here this this the value is 10 so this 4 minus 4 minus 0 the value come 4 and this the 0 so at your mod operator that return remainder so that return at your k value is new value of k is 4 so k mod 10 or 14 mod 10 the new value of k 4 here after n equal to n by 10 so 14 by 10 it divide by 1 time so cosine is add here 1 now sum equal to sum plus k so sum value is now 6 and k value is now 4 so 6 plus 4 the value come 10 the new value of sum is 10 here after that go and n not equal to 0 1 not equal to 0 condition is true so again that go inside so add here k equal to n mod 10 so 1 mod 10 the value come add here 1 so value come remainder come add here 1 so new value of k is 1 and here n equal to n by 10 so 1 if you divide 1 by 10 the value come add here 0 so n value is now 0 and here after sum equal to sum plus k so sum value is now 10 and k value is 1, 10 plus 1, the value come 11. So, new value of sum is 11. So, at this point, the sum value is 10, and your sum value is 10, k value is 1. So, 10 plus 1, the value come 11. So, sum value is now 11 at here. So, sum value is now 11. Here, after that, go check n not equal to 0. 0 not equal to 0, condition is not true. So, at your condition become false. So if condition is become false, so that out from y. Here after console dot try. So this will display into the output screen sum of digits of a number and the value of sum. So sum value is now 11 that display. Sum of digits of a number equal to 11 that display. So see here I enter 146 and getting the output 11. So 6 plus 4 10 10 plus 1 11. So 11 it's a display. Now here after control comes to this point, so read line, so this read one input from the keyboard and terminate the output screen. So this is the steps of execution of this program. So I hope that this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.